Hello everyone. Welcome to FP Learning. My name is Rabbi Alam and today I am going to talk about pre exam system. So this is the part one of this system and uh, the series videos of types of sprinkler system. I have discussed regarding weight, dry and deluge system in my previous videos. If you want to watch that videos, the link is there in the description. You can just follow the link and watch those videos. I will recommend you guys to subscribe my channels FP Learning so that you can get the latest update on various FE topics. Let's begin now with the prediction system. You know this system are used where the risk of freezing, water leaks or unintended sprinkler activation is of concern to the building owner, right? For example, like let's say the museum housing rare artifacts or books where we don't want uh, to activate the sprinkler system uh, falsely right unintended uh, activation and all data center to protect computer equipment and they are also used in uh, properties where cooling or freezing are a part of the buildings used such as cold storage and warehouses right so this is very complex system right it is a complex and weight and dry system because there is more component with the pre action system interlock and all we can say that one uh, free action system is the combination of wet, dry and deluge system, right? Uh, with the free action system, you know, water is kept from entering the piping by a free action valve, which is opened by a variety of actions such as detection system, activates a sprinkler open or combination of detection plus the activation of the sprinklers. Maybe this to require with the types of interlocks maybe single single interlocks double or non interlock with some reaction system an alarm sound before the sprinkler activate and this provide an opportunity to extinguish the fire manually right and detection system may be electrical pneumatic or hydraulic type all those electrical detection system are the most common and may employ smoke or heat detector or any other approved device so we have uh, types of pre-action system, right? We have single interlocks, we have double interlocks and we have non-interlock system. In a single interlock system, water admits to the sprinkler piping upon activation of a detection device. So if a detector detects a fire, it will give a signal to open the solenoid valve. That's it. Water will enter through the piping. Now if the sprinkler is activated, means the sprinkler bulb is fused due to the heat, the water will discharge otherwise it will not discharge. Then we have the non-interlock non system uh, in non-interlock system which admits water to a sprinkler piping upon operation of a detection device or a automatic sprinkler. So how this non-interlock system activates and all they have uh, two they have two uh, arrangement to open the deluge valve. One they have the solenoid valve and the other they have the pneumatic you know they have pneumatic uh, actuators right. So if pneumatic actuators uh, means detect the fire, how it will detect? It will detect from the pilot line. We have used the heat detector and all. Uh, pilot type head is finger head. That will be fused and air will be released. Once the air release, the system will activate due to the difference rise in the priming chamber. The last one, the most advanced one and the most more number of component, we have the double interlock system, right? So. In double interlock system, water admits to a sprinkler piping upon operation of bore detection device as well as automatic sprinkler. Suppose this is a this is a DV valve, the loose valve, and this is a priming chamber lines. It is connected by a solenoid valve here, and then they have a pneumatic actuator, right? So this these two need to be activated in order to release the water, release the water to drain connection right without that one if any one of that will activate the system will go to reset condition automatically but we'll discuss in detail in my next video regarding the double action free action system so for today we are just going to discuss about single interlock free action system right where we need you know only operation of a detection system once a detector detects a fire it will open the deluge ball allowing water to enter inside the System piping. When I'm talking about the system piping, I'm talking about the after the deluge valve into the sprinkler piping. And where we need 
The goal of the single interlock system is mainly to reduce time of water delivery to sprinklers. Normally, uh, a double interlock system can delay the water delivery to the system because they have double interlocks. They have pneumatic air to release from the sprinklers and they have solenoid valve. So pneumatic time, pneumatic airs need time to go out of the sprinkler system causing water, causing fire to grow maybe sometime out of control. This is why uh, we have some limitation. So what are the application of the single interlock system? In computer rooms, museums, right? art galleries and other places sensitive to the water discharge or area where consequence of getting water into the piping are not as severe as in the freezing storage warehouse. The problem with the freezing storage warehouse right with the sing using single interlock system may be because the single interlock system detect a, detect, a detector detect a fire it will open the deluge valve now water goes inside the system piping but inside the freezing storage atmosphere is totally freezed temperature in the minus 10 minus 20 degrees celsius the water converts at zero degrees to the ice water will become ice inside that it will freeze inside the piping now there is the problem how we can remove those ice obstruction in the piping two options we have either increase the temperature of the freezer that is not feasible because of the cost effective solution uh, all the product and will be destroyed the second one take out all the piping outside that doesn't make sense all these two points right so we have to be uh, careful with that one we need two kind of the activations first a detector detector fire it will not open the deluge wall right it should be opened by a detector as well as flush and pneumatic actuators any one of that one detect a fire cannot allow the system to activate moreover uh, this one is a concern of my next videos i'll i'll go in details regarding the double interlock reaction system for now let's focus only on single inter interlock system so here we have a single interlock reaction system uh, 3d diagram uh, so how the system activate this is just a general description the more detail in the next slide detector one detector fire send a signal to the releasing control panel and this releasing control panel send a signal to all the way to this solenoid valve right now this solenoid valve open this line now it is normally closed once they receive a signal from the panel so the light valve will be activated and making the water going from this line all the way to this up to the drain now once the water goes to the drain right the pressure will be relieved from the internal prime chamber assembly 4 the pressure will be relieved from that one and you know pressure is relieved from the priming chamber faster than it is supplied through the restriction office that we'll discuss in detail in uh, uh, the schematic diagram right then the prime chamber collapses and water passes through valve and internal check valve 5 here and you know water enters the system directly so there is only one activation detector detector fire send a signal to the control panels control panels send a signal to a solenoid valve to open once the solenoid valve open it will decrease the pressure in the priming chamber allowing water to go into the system now when water enters into the system, if there is a fire, the bulb will be fused and water will go and extinguish the fire. If that is not a real fire and uh, water is, uh, let's say, just going to the piping but it is not uh, discharged because the sprinkler head is, st is still closed. So this is the general uh, diagram. The next one we have a more uh, detailed one, right? So here I am just going to start, you know, this is a schematic of, uh, let's say, this is a schematic of free action system, single interlock, electrical release. So we, here we are just going to focus on the electrical release. I will just cover, divide this schematic diagram in three parts for your uh, convenience of uh, you know, knowing the fact. The water is getting supply all the way from the supply connection. Then here we have a control valve water supply control valve butterfly types butterfly valves this is our deluge valve right this is our deluge valve and at the top we have a d2 which is a check valve right eg riser check valve at the top right and at the top of the check valve we have a connection to e1 which is a pressure gauge and now this is the gauge for this is the gauge for you know air pressure now the air pressure is coming all the way from this compressor we'll discuss that one in detail 
So if you, every water supply from the this line all the way it is going from this stream all the way we have a normally open setup device then we have a, a strainer this is a 1 over 8 inch 1 by 8 inch restriction orifice right 1 by 8 inch restriction orifice then we have a check valve and all the way from this line water is getting enters into this framing chamber right to the deluge valve from the top water is going and it is closed the valve by the pressurized water okay so now the same line is connected all the way from here to a to this line right and this line is connected to this f1 now this f1 is you know solenoid valve right so once and this solenoid valve is connected all the way from this bottom line to the drain connection once this detector F4 is the detector, detector fire, send the signal to control panel, releasing control panel. Now this releasing control panel send the signal to the C4 which is a electrical alarm bell. It will make some uh, activation of alarm to someone to come to the site and look what is happening. And, and it will send signal to open the solenoid valve, right. Once the solenoid valve is open, this line is connected all the way from here to this solenoid valve water will be discharged from this line all the way to the solenoid valve coming to the bottom right here and then the same water will be going to the drain connection from that line right so this is once the water goes to the drain connection from this line you know the pressure will be decreased in the in, in the chamber into those priming chambers much faster than it can be supplied by this B3 1 by 8 inch restriction. So it will just drain the water from the system and due to the difference in the pressure, the water from this one entered to the system piping. Right? This is all about the working principle of this one, how it activate, right? So with automatic, we have a solenoid valve. If you want to open it manually, you saw something, right? You want to open manually, then the same line is connected to this box, right? B1 uh, priming valve normally opens oh, sorry B11 it is a emergency release system just open this one and pull the lever it will work as same it will relieve the pressure from this line to the drain connection right it is also work as opening the deluge valve but this is the manual one with the solenoid valve this is the automatic one right now when valve operates when this valve operates right pressure opens the PORBs Pressure opens the this PORB. This is pressure operated relief valve, and this continuously venting water to the priming chamber. It wants to ensure that you know the deluge valve remain in open position. It doesn't close uh, unintentionally in case of a fire. So this is the uh, working principle of the PORB. Okay, we discuss about uh, the theme, how it opens, right? Here, let's talk about the compressed air. This is a compressor, right? And this is a compressor switch G2. We have a air compressor supervisor switch, high and low. If the pressure is high, it will it will close the uh, the supply. If the pressure is low, it will start the uh, supply to the compressor. All the way, it is going to the G3, which is a soft check valve. And then we have a setup device, normally open conditions. One by four inch connection is coming all the way from this one. We have a dehydrator, right, to remove all this moisture and all. Then we have a G6 air maintenance device, right? So this is the air maintenance device along with the bypass line. The air will come and pass through this line. And this is a, uh, this is a normally bypass line, which is closed position, but this one in open condition. If you want to know in detail regarding the air maintenance device, I will recommend you guys to just go and watch my videos on dry pipe system. I have discussed in detail regarding those air maintenance device and all. And this, after the maintenance device, this is going to the E3, which is a air pressure supervisory switch. And it will give a signal to the control panel regarding the what is the pressure inside the system, if it is high or if it is low, to check at those release control panel. Now, the same line is going all the way from this one to the system piping here, right? And this is to, this is a pressure gauge for air, not for the water. The purpose of you know pneumatic air in the system piping in the sphincter piping is you no know, just to 
make sure right, just to uh, supervise the any kind of the leak or broken areas in the swing door piping why it is so important you know uh, we just want to supervise that system piping or the swing door piping is not broken there is no leaks or no swing door is uh, damaged because the main goal of the pre action system is to uh, allow water not to discharge in uh, no fire condition right if there is a fire only then only it will activate the bulb will fuse but maybe sometime if the system is not supervised with the air we cannot know if there is any leaks or what or maybe due to the false alarm right due to the false alarm uh, the deluge valve opens because it's a single single interlock only detector giving a false alarm right and it activate the deluge valve now water is going all the way from the system piping to these areas right now this is a costly areas maybe a museum art galleries or historical rooms all those equipment will be destroyed because of non supervising this is why we need supervision of the system piping it will uh, it will just supervise that one if the system is uh, uh, in good condition there is no leaks there is no broken instrument and all if the pressure is low it will give a signal to the release panel so that someone can come and say look for the those supervisory conditions right so that's all about you know that's all about uh, the schematic of uh, single interlock free action system with electrical uh, electrical uh, 